I was once told that life's greatest treasures are found when they are least expected, and that's exactly how my heart found your sweet, caring, and perfect love. I was not looking for love the day that you and I went to lunch, but little did I know that love was exactly what I had found. Not only did I discover love, but I found the one person that would change my life forever. The person that I would be spending the rest of my life with, I found a person who exudes love as naturally as the sun gives off heat. I discovered my best friend. Now the day that used to seem like it was forever away, our day, has finally arrived. This is the start of a new path for us, a journey that we'll be starting together as one. And with that, I promise you that I will always love and honor you. I promise that I will always be here for you. I promise to always lift you up when you're feeling down. I promise that I will always cherish both you and every moment that we spend together from now until the end of time. I'm ready to be your husband. I'm ready to be the best man that I can be for you. I promise to love you through the good and the bad. I promise to provide for you and care for your needs. As we begin this new chapter of our lives, I want you to take a moment to think about how our lives are made up of great moments, but understand that great moments often come to us beautifully when we are unaware of it. So let us pause throughout the night and cherish each moment spent together on this special day. I love you, Ashley, equally the most, forever and always. Love, your husband-to-be. Austin, 588 days ago when you put this ring on my finger, I thought this day would never come. Before our friend date to Longhorn on October 21st, 2017, if someone would have told me that I would be standing here today about to marry one of my childhood friends, I never would have believed him. This may sound cliche or crazy even, but after that one date with you, I knew you were the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. After our first date, everything leading to this moment has been a whirlwind of laughter, adventure, and an ongoing debate of who loves the other the most. I want to thank you for your endless love and support over these past three years. You never failed to put me first in our relationship, and you always consider my needs above your own. And despite everyone saying it's just a phase, you still, after three years, opened my car door. You are truly one of the most genuine and kind-hearted people I have ever had the privilege of knowing, and I hope I can become more like you in that way. One thing I love about you is you always know what to do or say to make me feel better. Whether it's a talk, a hug, or you try on your best to make me laugh. You've taught me how to open up and not bottle up my feelings, even if I wind up talking through my tears. I am so blessed to be marrying the man that I've prayed for all of these years, and I promise to be the wife that you've always dreamt of. I promise I will always be in your corner when you feel like no one else is. I promise to always listen when you're talking about dirt bikes, even though the only thing I know about them is the difference in a two-stroke and a four-stroke. But above all, I promise to love you unconditionally on the good days along with the bad days for the rest of our lives. Austin, I have no doubt in my mind that a love like we have was handpicked by God himself, and I'm so thankful for him. You're my best friend, my biggest fan, my better half, and my soulmate. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives saying yes to every dog we get the chance to bring home, playing Monopoly for hours on end, and taking spontaneous road trips. I'll see you at the altar, my love. Yours forever, Ashley. Oh, and P.S. I love you equally the most. I 
I Austin. I Austin. Take you, Ashley. Take you, Ashley. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we're parted by death. Until we're parted by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. <laughs> I give you my promise. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Austin. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we're parted by death. Until we're parted by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And in the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Ashley, take this and put it on Austin's ring finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, now by the power vested in me by the state of South Carolina, but more important as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and whatever God has joined together, let not the man, hand of man ever separate. Austin, you may kiss you bride. Well now, it is my honor and privilege to be the first to present to you this world Mr. and Mrs. Austin Keatley.